I am going to show you some absolutely gorgeous 164 models. Many of you have these or some of these or one of these. I'm giving you a full Tarmac Works update today. I have accrued these models over the last few weeks from our friends at Tarmac Works and from uh, my friend at Surplus Goodies. Surplus Goodies is a Lamley partner. Jimmy over there at Surplus Goodies sent over a couple of these models. Uh, Tarmac sent the rest and I have uh, been wanting to show these and I thought I've got a nice accumulation here. It is time to show them off. And when that Jägermeister Porsche, RWB Porsche showed up, I said, I gotta get this thing going and going now. Many of you bought this from Surplus Goodies, the Jägermeister Porsche. Sometimes that's the entry point to others. Other times you've already been collecting a lot of these and you're like, all right, that's another one to add to the pile. You're gonna want this one. We're gonna open them up. So we're gonna start this video by, let me show you. There's, uh, I've got a couple of Global 64. This is their, this is Tarmac Works. I, I don't know how to best describe it. Um, this is full premium. This is a little bit below that. That's about it because they're very realistic, very nicely done castings. Um, I don't know how else to, uh, to describe it. These over here in these containers, I believe go by the Hobby 64, uh, I might say it somewhere, Hobby 64 line. Um, and uh, I've got to, like, this one is a China special edition. Most of these other ones are retail, um, models that, uh, sometimes that are available at Surplus Goodies, at the Tarmac Works store, if they're not sold out already, and we'll get right to them. So to get up these open, it takes a little bit getting them out of the plastic, off of the screws and everything else. So we're gonna walk through these packaging really quick, then we'll uh, switch over to the models themselves. So let's start with the Global 64. Um, not much to see, I've got two Koenigsegg's here. Not that that's, that's a lot to see, but not much to see packaging wise. I think you guys wanna focus on the models. You've got a box. This is a standard, they've moved to this more standard blister style. With that, I've got two of those. We'll look at those uh, here in a second. And then let's walk through the other models that we're going to look at. I said we have this uh, China Special Edition. It's a little bit different packaging. It's an RWB Porsche 930. Cannot wait to look at that one. I have two Porsche 911 GTS or GT3Rs. We've got the Fiat GT World Cup 2018 Macau. And we're gonna, I mean, I can, I don't know. I well, I'm showing you this. Let's just let's just walk through it, right? You can see they'll have on the base. They've really done a nice job with the bases that they put these cars on, and not just the cars themselves. This is in a full chrome. We'll take a look at that. Uh, these come in uh, really nice packaging. Every bit of packaging has some sort of different detail on them. All of the mumbo jumbo's down there. That's why it's upside so down. That's what I don't really mind about. These come with special cards as well. Ooh, this one. Has a very low number, number 10. Um, so it's always kind of fun. I like that they've added these little cards to uh, signify that. So that's number 10. We'll look at what all these numbers are. So that's one of the 911s in Chrome. We'll look at that. Then we have this one, FIA GT World Cup 2018 Macau as well. IXO models. Says it right there on the bottom as well. Let's see what number there's the back. Let's see what number. So you've got a picture of the actual car there. Let's see what number we're dealing with here. 1,802. That's more like it. Number 10 was pretty cool. Put that one right here. Okay. This one, I think, is going to... I, some of you already have this one. There is such... Uh, you know, the supercar fans are passionate fans. And this Pagani and the Koenigsegg have brought a lot of people to Tarmac. And uh, I really wanted to take a look at this Pagani. So we're finally going to open this thing up. There's the back. Like I said, see, the packaging is always different. This one is not obviously a race car. So this one just says Carbon Edition on it. Try and get it in focus. There you go. Limited to 2,064 pieces. Let's see what number this one is. Ooh, another low number, number 11. So that's pretty good, wow. Got a number 10 and a number 11. Put that right there. We'll walk these two. I said we've got the RWBs, which I'm, you know, RWB just gets you so excited. I'm one of those people, but there's others too. Mercedes AMG, GT3, Macau GT Cup as well. FIA GT World Cup. This is all from that uh, World Cup. Packaging, 
picture of the car. I love that they're doing that because you want to know like how true these replicas are. And like I said, we'll look at the cars in just a little bit. Limited to, does it say? It does not say. It does have the uh, Daimler, so we know it's licensed. And, oops. Number 124 for that one. I I really dig that they're doing that because anything they can make collectors. You go from the Mercedes to a Hyundai i30 NTCR 2018 champion, WTCR 2018 champion. Is there a picture? There is. Really cool. Oh, that's a low number. Number four. Not bad. And then lastly, two RWBs. We already looked at the China Jägermeister. And then how about this one in a Martini Deco? <laughs> Just, and look at the base on this. We're going to take this off, so I'm going to show you the base right now. But look at that Martini Deco. Rough Rhythm, this one is called number 11, is the name. You know, RWB names their cars. And so, uh, let's see here. What's the number on this one? 751. And then finally, I cannot wait to open these. The Jägermeister. What's the name on this one? Well, easy enough. Jägermeister. So, and this one is number 4667. All right. Through the power of editing, we are going to get all of these opened. Let's get them all organized here so we can uh, we can get these all situated nicely wow look at that just a quick little edit and they're all open I won't talk to you about the hour or so that it took me to unscrew that wasn't an hour but uh, I did enjoy a few football plays while I was doing that uh, on the TV but you don't have to worry about that. Let's take a look at these models. They are absolutely gorgeous. We'll start with the Koenigseggs in the Global 64 line. Like I said, this is just a little bit under their ultra premium. These are still premium rubber tires, the whole bit. They'd probably have just a few fewer pieces than the uh, than the premium models, the um, Hobby 64 models. But you can see there's tons of detail. They're not uh, skimping anywhere. You can see that there's holes on the sides where the side mirrors go, and they do come as additional pieces. I think just packaging-wise, they probably come off. But that's the difference between these. I think they roll a little bit differently. Um, the Hobby 64 models don't. It's, it's all about the precision of the parts and the look of the car. That's why they come in these displays. Um, so you can, they really are for primarily for display. And so all these little pieces, all these little fragile pieces, are put together to make them look realistic, not on Hobby 64, so you can add the mirrors if you want. If not, you've got this. Now, you can also um, remove the rear part of this model, and so there's the uh, the engine in the back, which is kind of cool. So that is the Ajera, Ajera RS, and let's have a look. Go ahead and put that one back. And then let's have a look at the what they're calling the Ajera prototype in this gunmetal gray. Same thing, the part, the uh, rear part can be taken off. I don't, you already saw that on the orange, so you don't need to see it on this one. I believe they're calling this one the prototype maybe based on deco because the castings appear to be exactly the same. I love the uh, yellow trim on the wheels. And just a very, very cool model with the five-spoke wheels and so on and so forth. I know these have both been out. I know the gray one has been out a long time. Orange one, fairly recent. So a lot of you probably have these. But if you don't have them, they're very, very much worth having. All right, let's move on. We'll move across and we'll end with this one um, with, the, uh, with these models. So we'll start in the Hobby 64 line with this one, let's make sure we get this right. It is the uh, Mercedes-AMG GT3 Macau GT Cup. 
from the FIA or FIA GT World Cup 2018. Uh, you uh, racing aficionados can probably uh, speak to all the details on this one, but like I said, with the Hobby 64, it's all about accuracy. So these are racing cars. You're going to see the details from the front to the back to the sides to the top to the bottom. Everything is going to be there, every little bit of deco. Um, I don't know what a licensing nightmare it might be to put on all of these little trims and everything. Who knows? That's not a question for me to ask. It's just a model for me to show. You can see that the rear spoiler is nice and crisp and clean. You can see it's got the antenna on the top. Uh, the wheels are, are quite cool and quite detailed. You can see that the brakes can be seen through there. Again, this one, does it roll? A little bit, not great. You're not going to put it down a track. You could probably work it to rolls a little bit, but these models are strictly for display. And I'll tell you, it's not just having one. It's having a lot of them together, which really, like just like seeing the race cars on a racetrack, just the plethora of colors and everything else really makes it cool. All right, let's look at the Porsche 911 GT3R. Also from the FAI GT World Cup 2018 in Macau. And this one is awesome. In the light yellow and light green. Almost looks like a reptile scale on this one. From the top. 911 on the window. Love the orange side mirrors. Side mirrors come on this one, not on the, on the Global 64 because these sit in those plastic acrylic cases. Um, but you can see the, how the rear tail lights are accurate, so are the front headlights. Just an absolute stunner of a Porsche, but as much as I like that one, let's just move right up to its brother here in kind of a dark chrome with black trim, gravity deco, gravity on the spoiler. Boy, Tarmac, I am telling you, <laughs> I, you know, these are models that I, I actually, you know, I open everything. That's kind of my rule. Um, it's hard to open all of these because, A, it's trying to figure out how to put them back and which case goes to where. It can be sometimes difficult. But these do look good just in their acrylic cases. But, man, when you pull these out and you just see all of the, just the minuscule detail... There is an opening part on one of these. There doesn't have to be on others because this, like I said, you just want to look at them. You just want to see them together. And if you do open them, you put them together because they look really cool side by side. That Chrome Porsche is something special. All right, let's move across to the Hyundai. That's how I always say it. I don't know if I should. Um, which one is this one? I-30 NTCR. This rally style BRC gas equipment deco. Love the spoiler coming out of the back. Love that they did a Hyundai. See, that's how I have always pronounced them. <laughs> uh, the antenna on the back. Yokohama windshield. Really cool model as well. I know there's always the does it roll camp and the roll camp. Um... You know, if you're all about your cars rolling, then Tarmac's not for you, right? Um, but um, if you're uh, into just having these beautiful replicas of real cars, Tarmac is definitely for you. This, These, for me, scratch different itches, right? Hot Wheels scratches a different itch than what Tarmac does. So does TLV, so does Auto World. All right, the Pagani Zonda. This piece does come off. So in the packaging, there's a little piece of plastic that holds it into place in case the in case the uh, case goes upside down. Let's put that back. Let's have a look on the turntable. Really cool, very detailed, very delicate spoiler. Very cool, very detailed, very delicate side mirrors. Although they do use kind of a softer plastic, not entirely, but it's like if they took a little bit of a hit, um, they should survive. Um, because you're talking about such tiny pieces. Love the wheels, love the trim, love the carbon fiber type paint that they've used. Um, the detailing there to make it look uh, carbon fiber over the top, towards the front and the back, front spoiler, everything. Um, I'm assuming those of you who wanted this one got it. 
Uh, I don't know if it's still available in the stores, but uh, if not, it's worth it. All right. Worth finding. Let's go over to this one. It is the RWB. We have two 993s and one 930. We'll start with the Martini. This one is just out, right? And, you know, we've seen RWB with Hot Wheels, obviously. Tarmac has the license as well. And when you take an RWB and take something as iconic as Martini and Jägermeister, again, spoiler, super clean, nice and crisp. Martini Deco, great. Five spoke wheels, great. Number 11. I'm just talking enough so these can this can take a couple of turns because you just want to take in all the details on this thing. And maybe I'll just let it sit for a while too. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. I don't know which one I like better, the Martini or the Eggermeister. Let's get to the Eggermeister in a second because we'll go with this China exclusive 930. Completely different casting. And maybe this one's the best. Look at the spoiler on that. Look at the wheels on that, how clean they are. One a little deeper than the other. Obviously the rear a little deeper. Love the two-tone silver and red with the hood deco and the raw welt up over the um, over the windshield. Oh, man. Why do we have to pick a favorite? I don't. I just like them both, right? They just look so good. Such a nice, clean casting. And uh, by the way, this one did come in a different packaging. And when I open it up, it's it comes in uh, this container that you can actually, like a shipping container, that when you open it up and pull the model, you can actually pull it out that way. You still have to unscrew it, but it's a very cool container. I wonder if they're going to think about doing more of that. Although, it doesn't allow you to see all the details of the model that the other containers does. All right, the other container does. Last one of this long tarmac video. And by the way, as I'm showing this, if you want to see more tarmac, let me know. We've, we're going to cover tarmac more on, Hot Wheel, on landlygroup.com. Um, but if you want to see more tarmac on the channel... They've been sending me stuff, but I can try and get my hands on more models, too, to show you guys. Um, and I can talk to the Tarmac guys. They're really, really cool over there, the folks over there, more than just guys. Um, Jägermeister 993, I don't think needs much description. Look at the wheels on that one. Just amazing with the Jägermeister deco. Look, it takes a while to open the open the uh, acrylic case, screw out the model, and then it takes a while to put them all back. But it is worth it with these absolute stunning models. They're prolific in their releases, Tarmac Works. A few each month. Um, I can't collect all of them. It would just be too much. But um, getting these from Tarmac and from Surplus, and uh, those, are the, those are my two sources for getting these. Um, I am always stoked to open these up and take a look at all of the details. You guys tell me what you think. You want to see more Tarmac Work videos. Trying to do a little more brands as much as I can. And there's so much good stuff out there. It's almost impossible to cover it all. But uh, really thrilled to do this Tarmac Work stuff. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye.